Good morning, Joan. Happy Friday. I hope you are ready to have a great workout. Start the morning off on the right foot. <laughs> well, I was thinking maybe we should just drink coffee. You know, just I wouldn't hate that, but I think I do need to leave the workout still. <laughs> well, you don't know if I'm just going to drink coffee. That's true. I don't know. Because your camera's not on. So you really could just be laying there the whole time. And I, I know. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to watch now. Okay. So today is going to be day three of phase one. So it's week three, day three, phase one. So today we're doing a dumbbell strength circuit. So if you do not have dumbbells, no problem. Um, only one thing will be like substituted out for a dumbbell, but everything else you could do body weight. So I'll go ahead and explain everything we're gonna be doing and then we'll go ahead and warm up and then we will get started. So <clears throat> we are gonna be doing today's workout in more of an EMOM fashion. I also was hoping it was gonna be lighter in here, but I think I need to turn the light on. Um, so we're gonna be doing set everything we're gonna do 12 reps of and we're gonna have a minute to complete that just so that way we have, um, something to go off of. So we'll use the timer for that. And we're gonna start off with the dumbbells doing overhead presses. So we're gonna do both our hands together, elbows straight, not straight out. We want them slightly in front, but we want them even with the shoulders, pressing up and back down. And if you do not have dumbbells, we can do some pike push-ups instead. So hands on the ground, butt in the air and pressing down towards the ground, pushing back up. So that is the alternative if you do not have dumbbells for the overhead pressing. And then we're going to do some jump squats with the weights here. So again, if you don't have dumbbells, not a problem. And if you're not in a place to jump, go ahead and just do regular squats. We're gonna have those feet shoulder width apart, squat down, jump up, land nice and soft on that whole foot. So then after that, we are going to be doing bent over T's. So feet shoulder width apart, going down just like an RDL. So that's what it's gonna look like from the side. Then we're gonna come straight out with our hands and back to center. Again, this can be done also body weight with just your hands doing that. So I might switch that because my shoulders are really sore from yesterday, which Joan, yours probably are too because we both did the same workout yesterday. And then we're gonna do a reverse lunge set knee drive so holding those dumbbells stepping back in the reverse lunge coming up with that knee using the core so for that one um we'll do all on one leg and all on the other leg and then um after that we're going to get on the ground and for this one if you do not have dumbbells you can just do some glute bridges so you can squeeze those glutes and then come back down but if you have those dumbbells, we are going to do floor presses here. So we're gonna have those arms nice and tight, straight up overhead and back down. So it's the same movement as like a bent over row, but we're just laying and using the opposite muscles here. So doing 12 of those. And then we're gonna end with bird dogs here. So we're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg here. We're going to extend and then replace them and then extend, replace. We'll do 12 on each side, making sure it's really important that we are sinking into those back hips a little bit. And when we extend out, we are not opening those hips up. We got headlights on the hips pointing down towards the ground. And we're gonna do that two times for sure, maybe three, depending on how much time we have, um, because we do have to do the mindset reset when we are done with the circuit. So. Um, Joan, that could be your coffee time is during that. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get started with our warm up here. So let's go ahead and get on our hands and knees. And we're going to start with some quadruped rocking here, getting our hips warmed up, getting our legs stretched out. And also we'll get our hands a little bit warmed up too. So we're going to rock back, glutes to heels, keeping that back nice and flat squeeze the glutes and then come up onto those hands a little bit. So go a little bit farther forward onto your hands, get a nice little stretch into those wrists here. Sort of flow through that a couple times. So we're rocking back, squeezing the glutes, rocking forward. Let's go ahead and do two more here. And last one. Awesome. 
All right. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some active threading the needle here. So I'm gonna start with my right hand reaching through in between my left arm and left leg, and then exhaling, reaching up towards the ceiling. So we're gonna get some nice rotation through the spine, get our back and our shoulders a little bit more warmed up here. I wanna make sure we're exhaling as we open up. And as we reach through last one here, reaching through, opening up and then back to that center position and other side here. So left hand going through and opening up. Great job. We're gonna go ahead and do two more here. Make sure we're following our eyes to our hand, gazing past our thumb as we reach through and as we open up. Last one here, reaching through and opening up. Awesome. All right, I think we are ready to rock and roll here. So I'm gonna get the timer started. We are doing 12 reps of everything today. So um, starting off with those overhead presses, I'm gonna get a timer going here in three, two, one, and go. So we got our dumbbells. We're doing 12 overhead presses. So the goal, we have one minute to finish all of these exercises. Every exercise, we have a full minute to complete, and then we'll move on to the next one. We'll have a nice transition period in between to get ready for the next movement. So we are pressing using those shoulders here, keeping that core tight. Our back is flat. Great job. Making sure we're not arching the foot. We're not using momentum. We're just using our arms here. Doing 12. We got about 20 seconds left. Up next are gonna be the jump squats here. So holding those weights off to the side. Again, if you're not in a place to jump, you can just do regular squats. And if you are making sure we're landing on our whole foot, pushing off the whole foot off the ground, landing nice and soft, making sure we're soft in the knees. Don't wanna hurt our joints. We're doing 12 here in three, two, one. So nice light jump here. Keep breathing. Squeeze those glutes. And 12. If you'd like to do more than 12, feel free to do so. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do bent over T next. Whoops, that's not a good idea. Uh, so bent over T's are next. We are, I mean, we could really start doing that now if we wanted. Um, yeah, we can just get started with bent over teeth. So we're gonna do 12 of those feet shoulders apart. Push those hips back. We're doing 12 of these. Great job. Keep squeezing through the backs of the shoulders here. Pinkies pointed towards the ceiling, palms towards that wall. Just using our shoulders here. Doing 12. And then once we finish those 12, we'll take a little second to transition here. We are gonna do reverse lunge to knee drive. So we have 12 on each leg. So we'll do all 12 on one and then all 12 on the other, okay? So we're getting ready for those in three, two, one. We got a minute to complete each leg. So it's a two minute total. So reverse lunge back, drive with the knee up, make a one fluid motion here, 12 on each leg, keeping that balance, keeping the core tight, keep that center mass over the front foot. Squeeze those glutes. Helps to exhale as we drive that knee up. Great job. We had about 20 seconds to finish this leg and then we will do the other leg as soon as this minute is up. Got about 10 more seconds. We're doing that same thing on the other leg. Three, two, one. So now I'm using my right leg. Still keeping that chest over the arch of our foot. Squeezing the glutes as we drive that knee up. Thank <laughs> you. 
great job. Almost there. We had about 20 more seconds to finish up that second leg. And then we're gonna be on the ground here for either glute bridges or floor presses, depending on if you have dumbbells or not. You also could just do the motion or do push-ups instead of floor presses. Three, two, one. Elbows stay nice and tight. We are starting low, coming straight up above head. Squeeze the chest. Great job, keep pushing. We're doing 12 of these. Great job, we have bird dogs next. So we have a little bit of time here to, to get ready for those transitioning here. So once we finish our floor presses, we're getting ready for bird dogs here. We got about 15 more seconds. We're gonna do 12 on each side. And then as soon as we're done there, popping right back in to overhead presses for round two here. Three, two, one. So extending opposite arm, opposite leg, making sure we're not arching our back as we lift our leg up. We don't want the leg to be so high that our back arches. We just want it directly out behind us. Squeeze those glutes, kick out, keep our core nice and tight. Great job. We're doing 12 each arm. 24 total, if that works better for you. Really keep that core tight, back flat. Right about 15 seconds to finish that up. And then we're gonna go ahead and get right back into those overhead presses. So getting those dumbbells ready. Three, two, one. So pressing above head. For this next one, we're gonna do jump squats and the bent over tees in the same minute, okay? Because those ones don't take as long here. We're doing 12 of these. Keep that core tight. Keep breathing. Great job. We have about 30 seconds to finish those up. And then we got jump squats right into bent over tees. We got about 20 seconds for that. Get some water if you need to. We got 12 jump squats or 12 squats, 12 bent over tees. Three, two, Landing nice and soft here. Landing on the whole foot. Squeeze those glutes. And then we're going to go right into the bent over T's here. Keeping our shoulders pulled back, back nice and flat, pinkies up. Doing 12. We got 20 more seconds. And then we are going to go into those reverse lunge with the knee drive here. So we're gonna do a minute on one leg and we have a minute on the other leg. Or I guess I should say a minute to finish each leg. 12 minutes, three, two, one, so we're stepping back, exhaling, driving that knee up, being explosive here, keeping our balance, keeping that core tight, whole foot on the ground, chest over the arch of the foot. Exhale. 
It helps if you exhale as you drive that knee up to help use the core. We wanna use our core to drive the knee up, not our hip flexors. We have our hip flexors rest here, really using our core. We got 15 seconds and then we're going to do the other leg. Now we're gonna be on the ground. Three, two, one. So now we're stepping back the other leg. Exhaling, driving through the core. Okay, one fluid explosive movement. Knees tracking past that second toe. Squeeze the glutes. Great job. We've got about 30 more seconds. We're gonna be on the ground for floor presses. Next. Great job. If you don't have dumbbells, you can either do push-ups or glute bridges for the floor presses. Whatever you feel is best for you today. Three, two, one. Pressing above head. Starting low, coming up. Doing 12, squeeze that chest. We got 30 more seconds here for floor presses. And then we're going into bird dogs here. And then we'll start our cool down and get into that mindset reset portion of the class. We got about 15 seconds. And then we're gonna start those bird dogs 12 on each leg. Three, two, one, so extending opposite arm, opposite leg. Squeeze those glutes. Great job. Keep that core tight. Twelve each leg, twenty four total. Great job. We got about fifteen seconds to finish that up. Twelve each side. Three, two, one, and we are done with that circuit. Great job. Okay, so now get some water, take a second and we're gonna start our cool down here. So we can start in a kneeling position here. You can even stand up if you would like, but I'm already kneeling, so I'm gonna stay here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch our chest out a little bit first. So we are going to interlace our fingers together behind our back. And we are going to push our knuckles into the ground, starting to pull them apart, really opening up our chest and shoulders. And we can start to bring our gaze up towards the ceiling if you would like. If that's not comfortable, you can go ahead and look forward. But sometimes it helps to really get that stretch going if we look up. Big deep breaths into the chest, slowly exhaling. And one more deep breath. Awesome. You go ahead and release those hands. And from here, we're gonna stretch out our hips a little bit so we can do a nice half kneeling hip flexor stretch. So my right knee is on the ground, left foot on the ground. 
I'm gonna tuck that pelvis, keep my core tight, squeeze the glute of the knee that's on the ground, push my hips forward, reach in my hand above head, breathing nice and deep into the belly, feeling that hip expand, slowly exhaling. This is where we can start to really bring some awareness to our body here, noticing how our legs are feeling. How does this stretch feel? Does our hip feel tight? Is it hard to squeeze that glute? Just take um, some, uh, I can't think of what the word's called, but just bring awareness to your body right now. And we can go ahead and release out of that stretch. We're gonna go ahead and do that same thing now on the other leg, so left knee on the ground, right foot on the ground. Same thing, tuck the pelvis, keep that core tight, squeeze the glute of the knee that's on the ground, push those hips forward. And if you'd like, reach that hand above head, breathing into the belly. And as I said before, we're starting to take awareness of our body, see what feels tight. Maybe this side feels a little better than our other side, or maybe this side is tighter than the other side. Just make an, a mental note. That's the word I was thinking of. Take a mental note of how everything feels today. Maybe you need to give your hips a little extra love or something today. Just make a mental note and we can go ahead and come out of that. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come onto our hands and our knees. And first thing we're gonna do is thread the needle. So we're gonna stretch out our shoulders and our chest a little bit more. So left arm goes through in between the right arm and the right leg, pushing into there and pulling away with the upper back. And we're really gonna start to slow our breathing down here. Again, so just being aware and mindful of what our body feels like, what our energy level feels like. You know, maybe today we're a little extra tired because we stayed up a little too late last night or we have more going on this week than normal. So just taking note of how you feel today, like energy wise, everything. And maybe you can find out why you feel that way and make a change to your routine. So that's always something you can do is if you notice you're a little tired by the end of the week, maybe you're spending too much time at night doing something like TV or something. And maybe just turn that TV off a little sooner and maybe you start to feel a little better. That's just an example. I'm not saying everyone does that. And we can go ahead and return that hand back under our shoulder and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. So right arm in between the left arm and left leg, pushing that back of the hand to the ground, pulling with the upper back. And again, here bringing awareness, how does this arm feel compared to the other arm? How does your back feel? Maybe our back is really tight today because we've been hunched over the computer. So that's something else to be aware of, right? Maybe we need to spend a little extra time stretching every day, which luckily if that is you, we do have stretch breaks on Monday through Thursday that are live. All of our recordings up on YouTube spend five, 10 minutes a day stretching and maybe you'll, you'll feel a little bit better, a little bit more energized during the day. It'll be easier to move too, which if you all saw my post on Slack yesterday, I talked about how exercise and movement can really help with stress relief. Then we can go ahead and bring that arm back up under us. And now we can go ahead and take those knees a little wider, walk our hands out into some child's pose, forehead, chin, or cheek to the ground. And this is really where we're gonna slow our breath down. We wanna inhale nice and deep through the nose, exhaling nice and slow through the mouth. And as we bring our breathing down, our heart rate down, our mind and our body are able to relax. So tapping into our um, parasympathetic nervous system is really important, especially in terms of energy and being able to rest and relax at night are normally during the day. Lots of things that are stressful come up. Um, you know, working out like that can be a stressor on your body. Um, you know, work things happen, life happens. We tend to get really stressed out and, you know, we do things like drink coffee and have stimulants during the day. So sometimes, you know, may, yeah, maybe we're tired at night, but we're not actually getting that full rest of sleep because our central nervous system is still kind of firing and upticked. So really important to make sure we can calm our bodies down, calm our minds down, um, and really just be able to let our body rest and digest and take care of itself 
rest, repair, recover. You know, sleep is super important for that as well. Sometimes rest is viewed as a weakness and rest is actually really important, really important for our body and our brain to recover every day. So I eight hours of sleep, four for your brain, four for your body. So that's really important, you know, focusing on that every day. Maybe taking some naps throughout the day, that always helps too. <laughs> If you can, if you can't take a nap during the day. But now we can um, you know, really bring awareness to our breath, really being mindful. How does our breath feel? Are we really be are we really able to get a nice big deep belly breath? Really working on exhaling slower than you inhale. My favorite breath count is the six, four, ten. So you inhale for six. Hold for four, exhale for 10. It can be really hard at first, but the more you practice it, the better your exhales will get and the more your heart rate will be able to calm down and the more relaxed you will be. So that is definitely my favorite breath count. So yeah, bringing awareness to our bodies, how we're feeling, what our energy levels are like. Sometimes Fridays are a little tough because you know we've been working all week. Let's take a second too here to visualize our perfect day, our perfect weekend. What is something that you really want to do this weekend? Or even, you know, what you're going to do for yourself this weekend. Visualize what your ideal day looks like and how that's going to happen. Visualization is always a really cool thing because sometimes you know if we really want something to happen and we picture it and we manifest it then you know it's like we already have it and then it comes to us because that's you know the law of attraction there so just focusing on what we want to do what we want to bring today for ourselves what we're going to do for ourselves today this weekend I'm gonna do a few more big deep breaths. So we're really inhaling nice and deep into the belly, feeling the low back expand. Slowly exhaling, letting our bodies relax into the floor. And we're gonna do one more big inhale. Slowly exhaling. We can gently come out of that child's pose if you were there. If you're not there, you can still come up and you can return to seated kneeling or standing however you would like to end this class but that is going to be all we have for this fourth performance and mindset reset so thank you for joining me don't forget on um, design to run registration is open so you can register anytime between now and may 17th but i do recommend registering sooner than later um and we also have some really cool prizes there so that's really exciting then we have our virtual blood drive up on the exo sharepoint site so if you just type in exos into autodesk one that will bring you straight to our site um but thank you for joining me i hope you have a great weekend we do have one more class today with Luis at 12 functional fitness friday and guided breathing so don't miss out on that and i hope you have a great weekend and a great rest of your day